Is it spring 2024? Are you enrolled in Math 218? Well, you've come to the right place. My name is Brian Fitzpatrick. I'll be your lead instructor for the semester. A few things to point out here. My email is bfitzpat at math.duke.edu. If you need to contact me, that's the email to use. Um, my office hours will be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9.35 a.m. to 10.20 a.m. in White 107. That's our lecture hall. And also from on Tuesdays from 9.50 a.m. to 10.50 a.m. on Zoom. I'll say more about that in a moment. Now, each of you is enrolled in one of two lectures, which are conducted by me, but you're also enrolled in one of four discussion sections. Two of these will be led by Jing An, and two of these will be led by Kai Zhu. Um, also, there are some undergraduates helping out with the course. Um, these TAs are Blake Brown and Ben. Now, what you're looking at here is a typical week in your life as far as this course is concerned. Every Monday morning at 6 a.m., the same thing will happen. A certain number of lessons will be released on the course website, which I will acquaint you with in a moment. Now, every lesson has two assignments associated with it. Every lesson has a quiz associated to it and a problem set associated to it. That, uh, those assignments are all released in grade scope Monday morning, 6 a.m. Um, of course, uh, you'll be attending our weekly lectures. Those are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, either at 8.45 a.m. or 10.20 a.m. All of that's in White Lecture Hall, room 107. Um, and then Thursdays are discussion days. Now, attendance and everything is absolutely mandatory. That is non-negotiable. You have to go to all of the lectures and you have to go to all of the discussions. Um, now, I mentioned that assignments are released Monday mornings at 6 a.m. Well, the deadline for every assignment is always the following, so eight days later, Tuesday, um, and the, that deadline is 11.30 p.m. Everything is done in grade scope. I'll say more about that in one second. Um, so what about grades? Here is how your grade breaks down for the course. Um, let's start with the comprehension quizzes. That's 8% of your grade. Every topic we cover has a comprehension quiz associated to it. That's a quiz you take inside of grade scope. Collaboration on all your assignments is absolutely encouraged, so please seek help from either your peers or one of us. Um, but I don't accept late work. That 11.30 p.m. deadline Tuesday nights is absolutely rigid. Um, also, every lesson, in addition to having a quiz associated to it, has a problem set associated to it. Problem sets account for the next 8% of your grade. Now, these are templated as PDFs inside of Gradescope. So it is your responsibility to download the PDF from Gradescope, Print it out if you prefer to work on paper or work on it in a tablet. Both are fine. When you're done writing up your solutions in the template, it is then your responsibility to either scan it if you're using paper or simply upload your PDF from your tablet to Gradescope. So you'll be scanning if you're using paper, so you have to keep that in mind. Um, again, collaboration is absolutely encouraged, but you must write your own original solutions. Um, and of course, late work is not accepted. The next 10% of your grade is your uh, attendance and behavior in discussion. So you need to go to every discussion. In discussions, you'll be working on um, worksheet assignments. And um, while those are not graded for accuracy per se, um, attendance is absolutely mandatory. Um, the next 42% of your grade is your performance on the three midterm exams. Exam one is on February 16th. Exam two is March 22nd. And exam three is April 19th. Those are taken in class during lecture time. Finally, the last 32% of your grade is your performance on the final exam. The final exam takes place on May 3rd, 2024 from 9 a.m. to noon. Um, this is a three hour cumulative final, so it tests everything that we uh, uh, do in the course. We don't have a location yet, but we will um, as the semester progresses. I'll make sure to announce ahead of time. Now, what are my policies in terms of absences? If you have an excused absence, from a discussion, the protocol is that you should email me at bfitzpat at math.duke.edu. I will uh, uh, take care of your um, excused absence for a discussion by communicating with you. If you have an emergency and you have an excused absence for a midterm exam, then your final exam score will replace your uh, excused midterm. Okay. Um, if you receive SDAO accommodations, I want to know about that immediately, so please contact me. If that doesn't apply to you, then this slide is irrelevant. Um, now, what you're looking at here is just a very brief description of my webpage. 
I want to cover that um, separately in a moment, so I'm just actually going to skip this. Um, now, what about resources? Everything you need for the course is actually on the course webpage. Everything has been written by me. However, if you want an additional optional resource, the classic textbook for our subject is uh, Gilbert Strang's famous Introduction to Linear Algebra. So if you want an additional resource, you can pick this up, but this is by no means necessary. I don't assign anything out of this book, so you don't need it. Okay, now what about getting help? There is ample opportunity to receive help. I have weekly office hours. Your discussion leaders have weekly office hours. Our uh, undergraduate TAs have weekly office hours. And the Academic Resource Center will eventually start study sessions um, um, that I will notify all of you about. So the office hours as they're scheduled are, are specifically um, listed here. Um, of course, this might be subject to change because um, schedules always do shift around a little bit at the beginning of the semester. Now, I have some expectations from all of my students. One of the most important things when it comes to your studies is that you keep pace. So as we are covering material, the best thing you can do is work on the assignments as the material is covered in class. Don't just save your homework for the night before um, homework is due. That is a, not a, an effective way to learn. Um, now, I also expect you to participate. Remember, attendance is mandatory in everything that we do. I want people in the lecture hall because my lecture style really does demand feedback from my students in real time. So please come to everything and participate. Communication is important. If you do find yourself falling behind on material, reach out to me sooner rather than later. If we can schedule a meeting toward the beginning of the semester to help you catch up, that is always more effective than sort of just kind of meeting maybe a week or two before the final exam. So reach out to me early if you find yourself falling behind. And also, you need to practice writing. A big part of this subject that distinguishes it from earlier math courses is that things like vocabulary and things like process are elevated above sort of algorithmic thinking and answers focused thinking. So this is something that you'll find me emphasizing a lot throughout the semester. I also have some behavioral expectations. More and more and more things are done over the internet and the internet makes people crazy. So what I expect from all of my students in every communication is that you be nice to both me and all of your peers. Um, you need to be patient. So there's a lot of material associated with this course and from time to time, I'll make a little typo. I want to know about these typos but I don't want people being mean about my typos or whatever. Now, hopefully there won't be too many of these, but if you do catch me in, uh, you know, missing a negative sign on a slide or whatever, just politely point it out and I'm more than happy to correct things. Um, be humble. We're gonna be covering a lot of ground in this course and I'm assuming that no one knows anything about linear algebra. However, there might be a topic here and there that you feel like you have some familiarity with. The best piece of advice I can give you is to always come into topics with a fresh, perspective. If you think that you know something and you don't take the way we do it seriously, you might find that the way that you think you know it doesn't necessarily match the way that we are treating the topic in class. So always be humble. And finally, you need to humor me. You need to remember that the point of taking this course is to learn the material. I think when we get caught up in the day-to-day -day expectations of turning assignments in and taking exams, it's sometimes easy to forget that the whole point of doing all of this is to learn linear algebra. Okay, so I'd like to now pop over to my uh, personal web page. The URL for my personal web page is very simple. It's bfits.xyz. That's bfitz.xyz. My screen is a bit cropped here, so you can't see the URL, but that's fine. I'll make sure that you have access to the URL. Now, if you go to the top, you'll find Math 218 prominently displayed. Click on that, and this will take you to the home page for the course. You'll be visiting this page every single day this semester. This is where nearly all of the important information is for the class. Now, you'll notice at the top here to the right of the title of the course are a few buttons. You can click on all of these buttons. The first one is this list emoji. If you click it, that just takes you to the home page, which is a list of topics covered in the class. Now, what's gonna happen is that Monday mornings at 6 a.m., new topics are gonna pop up on the web page. One thing to notice is that if you click the name of the topic, it will take you to the material that I'm covering in class. Normally, these are slides. Um, if you go back, um, so, so this will, will, will roll out week by week. So week one material is already here. 
If you go to the right of the list emoji, you'll find the calendar emoji. This is an embedded Google Calendar that has all of the important dates and times of the course organized. So if you ever had a question of the form, when or where is something, the first place to go is the calendar. Um, if I go back to the homepage, to the, um, the rest of these, well, uh, I guess the next one is the email icon. There is another person on campus with my name. And if you naively simply type in brian.fitzpatrick at duke.edu, you will send an email, but it won't go to me. And you need to be really, really careful about this. So the way I correct for this is I have an email icon here. If you click that email icon, then um, that, that will take you to uh, uh, an email to me. So, make, so click that icon if you want to email me or commit my email address to memory from the welcome slides and you won't have an issue. Uh, I mentioned earlier that I'll have Zoom office hours on Tuesday mornings. If you want to join those office hours, I've made this very simple. All you got to do is click the Zoom icon on the course web page. Very simple. Um, all of the assignments are distributed through Gradescope. Um, here, I just have a link to Gradescope, so that's pretty simple. Uh, this scroll emoji, if you click on it, takes you to a PDF mock-up of the course policy sheet for um, the course. Um, and finally, this folder emoji. Um, this is uh, my old exam repository from like the past three or four years of me teaching this class. So um, I have all of that material public, um, old midterms and solutions. Students typically think that these are useful for studying, so I, 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 I post these. Feel free to study from those as we are covering material throughout the semester. All right, that was a lot to talk about. I'm looking forward to meeting all of you tomorrow in class. I hope to see you then.